In this video, I am going to show you how to make an interactive input field. Well, you cannot make an actual input field in Figma. But, with the recent updates, you can make a close to real like input field with a keyboard control function. Hi, I am Alex from Essential Web Apps. And, we make videos on WordPress, website and social media strategy, web design, and development. To see our regularly uploaded videos, please hit the subscribe buttons and click the bell icon for notification. So, here we are in Figma. Our final result will be like this. But, for now, I am gonna delete these from here. And, let's work on this group of elements. It has some general elements. And a hidden text, this is the end cursor. It also has a start cursor for an empty field state. It might look messy at this point. But we will go through it step by step. First, let's convert it into a frame. And, then make it a component. I am going to make this frame bit bigger to place this error message just below it. Let's hide it. Now, click on the Variance Plus button. You can rename it, for efficient tracking during prototyping. Ok, now, I am making the empty state. Make the cursor visible. I want to make this cursor blinking effect here. So, let's make another one by clicking this plus here. And, set it to a 0% opacity. Ok next, I am gonna slide this to the right, you can also make the width shorter like this. It will create the illusion of typing. Again, I want a cursor blinking effect here. So, let's do the same. Let's make another, as same as a final state. Finally, let's make the error state for a wrong input. So, I am gonna pull down the error message from behind the input layer. Change it to the wrong input. I am increasing the text box width, for better flexibility for a custom text, that I am going to put later on. That's it. Now let's prototype this. This will be on click. Make it to smart animation. Don't worry about my numbers here. Do your own experiment. Now, let's make that cursor blinking effect. Set it to after delay. I will put 1 millisecond. Do the same for this one too. Now, direct this one to the value text variant. Of course with a smart animation. Again, I will make the same cursor blinking effect here too. Next, from here, I will direct to the constant state. Finally, again from the empty state, I will make another link to the wrong input state. Ok, now, let's assign the keyboard command. So, for that, I will change on click to, key or gamepad. Here, I will assign the V key. You can put whatever you want. Just click on the keyboard, that you want to assign. Let's assign this wrong input with W. And, if want to go back to the empty state, I will assign backspace for that. And, finally, from typing state to constant, I will assign the enter key. Nice, all done. Now, as it is a component, you will find it under the asset tab and can be reused. Now, I am going to put this asset into my design very quickly. Let's rename these. Let's check it. It's working perfectly. You can also rename the value, like this from the layer tab. You might not see it here, because it has a solid layer on top of it. But it will visible in the output.
Now it's looking a bit more realistic. So, there you go. Did you like our video? Please let us know in the comment section. I showed, how to make this checkbox and button variant in the previous video. You will find the link in the description. And, I will see you in the next video.